Yo, that's so sick. Yo, look at this. Hold on, guys. I made a tweet <laughs> saying what Kingdom Hearts character had the biggest impact on you. And yo, the voice actor for Zemn is competent in my tweet. He, he, he's competent in my tweets a couple of times, actually. But that's Gaz. Yo, that's so cool. Let's look through this tweet, though. A lot of you guys uh, talked on this tweet, which is pretty cool. Redemption arcs really get me. And Lee's was just perfect for me. His character is so multifaceted and human i loved his journey from a lonely cold blood and assassin to someone who found friendship again decided to join the battle to keep the light safe that's so cool that's so heartwarming i i i, I do view lee's character in that way that's why I'm, I'm not like i don't get as annoyed with him in three i do think he i do think could have been better but axel only really needed to be there to finish his character arc with roxas and Shion, and that's what was so beautiful about that you know that's so awesome i love that my lucia slash lorium okay had a connection to him as i started with uh cage three and you cross elevated the likeness of his character heckamore that's interesting huh so starting with Union Cross and Cage Three made them like the character more. That that does sound like kind of a cool way to experience his story to a degree. It's like you start with Union Cross and Cage Three to build interest in the character, and then you go back and you find out like, dang, dude, this you you, you kind of see like where he ends up sort of sort of with the uh, chain of memories. That that's cool. Kyrie, ooh, Kyrie, okay. Uh, she was the first character that looked like a teenager, yet was a hero. She didn't believe lies, and she used her intuition. Traits that often get dismissed. She holds a special place in my heart. Oh, that's cool. We gotta, we gotta like the tweet for the for the Kyrie love. For me, uh, Roxas, mainly because growing up, especially in middle school, I was pretty quiet. Felt like an outcast amongst other people in my class, so I pretty much relate to Roxas the most. Yeah. Yeah, Roxas, I, I often say, I, I feel like Roxas is the most relatable character in Kingdom Hearts. At first it was Sora, then I met Ventus. I felt so personally attacked by his character because in his personality, he will quite literally die if he isn't loved enough. Oh my gosh, that is, that's concerning, but yeah, I mean, I, I could see that. Aqua, I saw a lot of Aqua in this uh, when the tweet was first made. Just because of all the pain she went through, and even after spending 10 years and losing hope of rescue, came back ready to fight for her friends and bring uh, Ven back and never stop fighting. That's so cool. Roxas, easy. Roxas, because I feel like he went through an emotional roller coaster with losing his friends and finding out slash remembering he's a nobody that's not supposed to exist, and seeing how Xemnas was manipulating uh, Axel and Xion. Riku went through a darker dream than Sora and also managed to accept who he is. I think that's why I liked him the most. Him being the Keyblade Master shows how far he has come. I That's what I think is so good about Dream Drop's story. I think Dream Drop really like, showed that you can overcome any you, you can you can overcome like you know your your dark your demons, your darkness. Your past isn't what like makes you who you are, but it can it can um it can help who you become. Which I think is really inspirational for Riku's character. Roxas, his introduction in KH2 was an existential crisis. He fought far more aggressively than Sora, and the line from Naminé, You are never meant to exist, rang harder than anything else in the entire franchise for me. I gotta say, Riku, his arc of dealing with his inner demons and understand that he doesn't have to go through his darkest hours alone is something that helped me throughout rough periods in my life. Riku. Riku's story is beautiful. I think it's so good. Like, it's it's up there with characters like Zuko from Avatar for me. It's really up there. It used to be Aqua and Cage 3 came around Sora's arc. That hit harder than almost anything. Bro, in Cage 3, like, I feel like there's... We, we've seen Sora get emotional before. We've seen him get emotional in Cage 2. But, like, I feel like we've never seen Sora, like, scream, like, in, in pain like that. In Cage 3... When we saw, when I saw that, it just hurts. It just hurts seeing seeing Sora just scream like that. It, it makes me feel pain. It makes me just hurt, like through him. Like ah, uh, I I don't want to see. I don't want to see him go through that, dude. I don't want to see him go through that. We've never really seen him break down like that ever in the series. Axel deserves his own origins video game. Axel saves Sora's life from the nobodies towards the end of Cage Two. That to me will be the most memorable moment. 
He sacrificed himself to help Sora. Very heroic. I'm seeing a lot more Shion than I thought I would. I love that. I'm seeing a lot more Shion than I thought I would. A lot of people, a lot of people resonate with Shion. I, I've been saying like her story is so good, and like I, I, I mean I, I loved her before, but like, I feel like my love for her just like like there was like this moment I, I forget when, but like it was like some time slightly before Cage Three. I was like analyzing her because I think. I think when Cage was coming out, I was like going character by character, analyzing the story, seeing what they were set up for. And Shion's story, the more I looked, I'm just like, this is sad. This is so sad. And it's like, I hope she comes back in three so much because she deserves a good ending. And she got, I think she got a good ending for her story. Yeah, it could have made a little more sense in some context. I mean, I think it made sense for me, but it could have, like, they could have done better with the explanation, but it was so beautiful. And thank you guys for 100 likes on the live stream. I just saw that. Thank you guys so much. Demis cannot trust enough how much that silly little man has changed my life. Really? Demix? Oh, man. Demix deserves it. That's cool to see someone have, like, Demix there for them. For me, it's Roxas, Riku, or Cage 2 Sora. For uh, both Roxas... And Riku, they both went through a lot of regret and sorrow to get where they are now. It relates to me a lot, especially now. And with Cage 2 Sora, he's a huge mood. I dislike how people don't give Cage 2 Sora credit with his emotions. I agree. I big agree. Like, I think a lot of people view Cage 2 Sora as just this, like, cool, cool character who's, like, super badass and stuff, right? Like, he's just, um, like he's just doing all this cool stuff. And he is cool. He is cool. But... He's really emotional. Like, Cage 2 Sora is probably one of the most emotional Sora's we've seen, for sure. Like, he, like, the, that scene, I will always reference that scene when he, like, broke, when he went down on his knees and be begging for Kyrie, like, please take him to her. Like, we don't see that often. That, that's a good, that's a good scene. Like, Sora and Cage 2 was just tired of it. Same applies to me being told things or act a certain way. So people, so Sora acting snarky or witty relates to me because I've always wanted to do that to teachers or adults. Most of my life, but could. Also, funny thing, every time I got sad, I would jam out to The Other Promise and his original theme. I remember listening to The Other Promise, like, so much. Just so, so much. Honestly, Ericus. Ericus, okay. My last playthrough of BBS, just before 3 came out, uh, I actually read some of the reports and learned that Ericus, despite everything, was just so excited to see his friend Xehanna return to him. Then 3 showed how close they actually were. Made me cry. I have some friends who... Who I wish would come home. Wow. I never thought of it like that. But that is true. Like that. Er Ericus is a, is just a lot more of a heartwarming character. Than like people. Uh, probably see see of him in BBS. We see the like rough stern Ericus. Trying to do what's right sort of thing. Uh, the light elitist I guess. But as you can see by his character. In uh, Dark Road. Ericus is actually just this lovable kid. And like that's honestly probably like. the tr Like how. Why Ericus is more so like. That's so cool. See, Ericus. His two characters seem more like two sides of a coin than is uh, let on. With Tragic Past, uh, both responded differently to the struggles they faced. Roxas got angry and kept moving forward. Aqua had more resilience and faith, but lost it over time. I love both. I think that's, I think that's a really good way to view them. Sora and Aqua. Sora has changed my lifestyle from the moment I've played Kingdom Hearts and becoming a man who appreciates and accepts everyone's differences and supports them in their varying endeavors. Yeah. Aqua resonates with me the most as someone who will do whatever is necessary to protect the one she loves and stand up for them when they need it, even if it means spending an eternity in hell. Uh, very powerful and motivational figures. That's beautiful. Shion was an interesting example to me of can you truly ever forget a person? All of the Kingdom Hearts 2 opening plot revolves around Shion's death. It forces Roxas to try and kill the fake Kingdom Hearts. Riku forces him into the data world, all because there's a memory in his head. Hey guys, Outro Prodigy here. I just wanted to say thank you so, so much for watching today's video. Thank you so much for sharing with me under that post. Uh, just how big of an impact, how much these characters, these stories have affected you and your life or through some rough moments. It really does show just how powerful and impactful this series is as a whole. These stories, these characters, although just from a video game, do have a lot of real 
impact on people that can go a long way in changing someone's life or just providing a comforting experience. This series really does mean so so much to me and a lot of you articulated in such a beautiful perfect way uh, why to a large degree. It means so much to so many people and I think this video uh, to a extent shows just how much it means to so many. So I hope you guys enjoyed it but for those of you in the comment section watching this for the first time please feel free to share some of your stories about how Kingdom Hearts characters have impacted you or how the stories or themes have impacted you in your life or just anything. If you enjoyed today's video though you already know what to do. Leave a like, share the video with a friend or a family member and and last but not least, if you're not already and want to become a part of the union, all you have to do is hit the subscribe button down below. My name is Prodigy, and I will talk to you guys soon. Peace out, you guys. Bye.